Hello everyone, welcome. In this video, we are going to be talking about the action potential, which if any of you have taken any basic neuroscience class, I'm sure you've heard this term a lot. So what is an action potential? An action potential is basically the triggering of a signal that can be sent from neuron to neuron. So this is essentially how the brain is going to communicate with the rest of the body and how the neurons communicate with each other, which is really important, right? So let's talk about how this happens. We're going to have to zoom in on an example cell over here to see how that happens. So this is the outside of the cell, and this is the inside of the cell. And usually, the inside of a cell will be more negative than positive more negative than positive. It's usually sitting around negative 70 millivolts. And how is it sitting in this manner? How do we have it so that it's more negative on the inside in comparison to the outside? That would be through something called the sodium potassium pump. So the sodium potassium pump let's just say it's working over here, it's going to kick out three sodium ions. And every time it kicks out three sodium ions, it's bringing in two potassium ions. That's why I had that drawn over here. So three sodiums out and two potassiums in. So how is this making the cell more negative? Okay, so first of all, both sodium and potassium are positive, right? But there's three positives coming in and two positives coming out. So more positive is leaving, right? More positive is leaving than is coming inside. So that means we're losing positive. So that's making the inside of the cell more negative. And that's how we're hovering at this negative 70 millivolts usually. When we are triggered for an action potential to occur, the inside of the cell is going to become more positive. And that's going to happen in these stages. So let's draw a little diagram over here. This is where we're usually chilling, negative 70 millivolts. This is around plus 55. This is where an action potential will start. So how is that going to start? How is that going to start? Basically, we are going to have some sodium channels activate. They're going to activate and they're going to open. So we're going to get some flooding of sodium in here. So right here, when we're starting to get, starting to get positive, that's because we have sodium ions coming in. And as we're getting the sodium ions coming in, this whole thing is going to be more positive. And that whole process, which is happening right here, becoming more positive, is called depolarization. Right, And when this depolarization occurred, we are triggered to send an electrical signal down the axon. So electrical signal gets sent down the axon of the neuron. Which, if you remember the basic anatomy of a neuron, which will get accepted by a dendrite. You can review that in another video if needed. But for now, all we need to know is that we're sitting at a negative area, negative inside the cell. Then we're going to have a depolarization, which gets triggered, which means that now the inside of the cell is more positive. There's a lot of sodium ions coming in. But then we're going to have something called repolarization. That's us going down over here. So I like to think of the word re as like again. So we're going to go back again to the state that we were before, which is kind of chilling in the negative area, right? So when the repolarization occurs, 
the sodium ions are going to close. The sodium channels are going to close. Which means there are no more sodium ions coming into the cell. So there's no more like of this positive influx inside the cell. And instead, the potassium channels are going to activate. And when the potassium channels activate, so let's kind of look at it here. So these sodium channels that which were open before are going to close. Then the potassium channels are going to open. And remember, the sodium-potassium pump is bringing potassium inside the cell, right? But now the potassium channels are going to open and all of this potassium is going to leave. So all of this potassium is going to leave. So now inside the cell, we, we don't have any more sodium ions because we don't have any more influx of sodium ions because that channel just closed. And then whatever K plus that we are getting from the sodium-potassium pump, those are getting kicked out also because the K plus channels opened. So now we're like extremely negative now. That's why we're coming below our usual threshold over here. Usually we're sitting around negative 70 millivolts, right? But do you see this dip over here? And this dip is called something is something called hyperpolarization. Think of hyper as in meaning too much. So now the cell is more negative on the inside. Even more negative than before. Even more negative than usual, I should say. Then soon it's gonna it's gonna come back to the baseline over here, which is again sodium potassium pumps working. Two K plus in three and a out. More positive is leaving than the amount of positive that is entering. So the inside of the cell is more negative. Now, if you want a quick way to rem remember the functioning of the sodium potassium pump, there's a little mnemonic that you can use. And all I want you to think of is a salty banana. So we all know that bananas aren't made out of potassium, and we all know that salt is sodium, right? Na+. So if we're thinking of a banana, and it's salty, so we put a bunch of salt on it, so that's salt on the outside and potassium on the inside, so salty banana. So sodium is going out and potassium is coming in. And then I like to just think sodium potassium pump, three, two, one. So three is for sodium, two is for potassium, one is just for pump. So three, two, one, sodium potassium pump, three sodiums out, two potassiums in. So that's what's allowing our cell to maintain this usual positiveness, sorry, usual negativeness on the inside because there's more positive leaving than the amount of positive coming in. But then we have an action potential, which triggers this depolarization, which then repolarizes, which then repolarizes, which then hyperpolarizes, but then we're back to baseline, right? And in this time, a signal has been sent down the axon and received by the dendrite. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.